Hi everyone. We have something completely, completely different for you today. So we're not actually going to do a workout in the traditional sense of the term. We are going to do a practice in dexterity of our toes. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to need a pen for this. Grab your kids. This is a fun one to do. And you can turn this, you can make this into a game. You can practice to make your skill better. Do all kinds of fun stuff with it. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is this. We're going to grab a pen, and you're gonna place it in between the big toe and the second toe. And then what we're gonna do is without using your feet, oh, I'm sorry, without using your hands, you're gonna exchange down the line of toes. So second and third, second and third, third and fourth, third and fourth, fourth to fifth, fourth to fifth, and then once we get to the end, then we're gonna have to go back down each Okay, you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. All right, so now as Lissy's doing that, one of the reasons why we do it is as we get older and as we stop using our feet as much, we start to lose the ability or the coordination to use our toes just to even move them or spread them open, right? So like if you've ever been to a yoga class, the yoga teacher always says, balance and spread your toes, right? When we spread our toes, we increase the surface that we uh, balance on, so it works on stability. But also, as we start to lose our balance, our toes have to go into the ground and stabilize so we don't fall. Now, if we don't have the dexterity, you can't fall. <laughs> it's gonna fall. It's, you know what? It's extra challenging on a ball. Okay. No like worries. trying to balance. <laughs> can't do this. <laughs> All right. So if we lose our balance, and if you don't have the coordination or the dexterity of being able to control your toes, then you're gonna have a hard time in balancing, and that's when you see people fall forward, almost like a tree. So it's extremely important that we have the dexterity and the ability to move our toes on demand. So it's always fun, make sure that we use your feet as much as possible. This is actually the reason why we've gone to Minimus Shoes. Oh, I don't know. That's why we've gone to Minimus Shoes so that we can have a better connection with the ground. Also, people who have bunions, this is a great exercise to do because the bunion, as the toe, the big toe curls in, we lose the ability to open the toe, right? And also to push down and bend the toe at the joint, right? So these are great exercises to do if you have uh, great, foot, great feet or if you have, uh, you know, issues with your toes, bunions, uh, it doesn't matter. You can always rehab them by doing exercises. So how was that? It was challenging, and actually, I felt like my toes were cramping up a little bit. Um, so that's also an indication that I should probably drink a little more water. The temperature has been really hot the last couple days, so if you feel a little crampy, drink some water as yes. well. And play with it. See how many times, you know, how fast you can go all the way down the line there and back. See how fast you can do it. See how many times you can do it. Just have fun with it. Um, if you don't have time to work out, you always have time to take off your shoes and socks and just use your feet. Yeah. All right. Have fun.